Hello, this is China Layer Race and my name is Robert and in this quick After Effects tutorial I will show you how to make this digital network terrain animation with beams coming out of point of each point and I will go, gonna be using Plexus plugin you can find a link in video description where you can find Plexus plugin and OK let's begin new comp 4K, 60 frames per second, 10 seconds long. Okay, let's create a new solid. Let's search for Plexus plugin and effects and presets and drag and drop on the solid we just created. And go ahead and let's add a geometry, primitives. Go to Let's make this cube, go to cube options and X points 50, Y points maybe 20, Z points 1, cube depth 0, cube width let's change to 5000 and cube height to 3000. Let's point size, let's increase to 5. Now let's add renderer lines, increase the distance a little bit uh, until lines are visible. I'll go to new new camera, so create new camera, go back to Plexus and let's rotate this. So let's rotate this in X. Let's move it down a little bit. Let's increase width a little bit so it fills the screen. <coughs> now let's add, add a noise effector. Increase noise, noise amplitude and let's make a warping animation. So go to the start of a timeline and go to noise details, select loop evolution, evolution and hit stopwatch on noise evolution, go to the last frame and enter one. So this is looped warping animation now. Let's select and all, uh, group all these into group one. So primitive object group one, noise effector group one, points again group one and lines one group and group one. Now let's select primitives object noise effector and points renderer ctrl d to duplicate drag them below and select group two of for each of these items so group two group two and group two go to primitives object two and transform let's move it upwards like that Let's go to noise effector and increase noise amplitude. And now go to add renderer and add beams. And in beams types, beams type select of groups and it automatically selects two groups. And, and it draws lines between group one and group two. Okay, beams, okay. 
Okay, now we can add a background. This would be dark blue background. Okay. Let's add a adjustment layer and let's add a vignette. Effect. Now let's go to camera and turn on depth of field. Go to plexus terrain and go to plexus unified rendering. Click with required for the field and motion blur and depth of field camera settings. Okay, looks already quite good. And we can go to camera and change focus distance. And as you can see, the quality of the field is quite bad. So go to Plexus and render quality. This is where you have to increase the number to get better quality of the field. So for me, uh, five works with best. It's quite fast and quality is quite good. So let's leave one for now. And last touch, let's add a glow. Glow radius, let's make 50, maybe. Let's make 50. And intensity 0 0.5. And what we can also do is We can decrease a, a cube width a little bit, but if we will do that, what will happen? Let's try. Okay, it works good, doesn't break anything. And okay, that's it for this quick tutorial. You will find project file in video description. And thank you for watching and goodbye.